we are asked to find each sum. Looking at each sum, notice how the fractions already have a common denominator. To add fractions with a common denominator, we add the numerators and then simplify if possible. Looking at the notes below, also notice how when adding fractions with a common denominator, the denominator does not change. So for A, we have negative seven over D plus eight over D. For this first negative fraction, let's move the negative sign into the numerator to make it easier to keep track of the sign. This gives us negative seven over D plus eight over D. Again, because we already have a common denominator, we add the fractions by adding the numerators. The denominator remains D and the numerator is going to be negative seven plus eight. Negative seven plus eight is equal to one, which gives us a sum of one over D, which does not simplify. For B, we have X over four plus two over four. Again, we already have a common denominator. The denominator in the sum remains the same. And now we add the numerators, which gives us X plus two. Now we need to be careful here. It may be tempting to try to simplify the two and the four, but we cannot do this because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. And therefore this fraction does not simplify. This is the sum. For C, we have three P over eight plus seven P over eight. The denominator remains eight. And now we add the numerators, which gives us three P plus seven P. Three P plus seven P is 10 P. This gives us 10 P over eight. But this fraction does simplify because eight and 10 share a common factor of two. To show the common factor of two, let's write 10 as two times five and eight as two times four. This gives us two times five P over two times four. In this form, we can see the common factor of two between the numerator and denominator. Two divided by two simplifies to one. The simplified sum is five P over four. I hope you found this helpful.